Hello everybody, my name is Patrick Koutny and today I will speak about a really interesting game between Jurovic and watch this position. Looks like black is passive, but maybe without big weaknesses. Yes, it's passive, but in this position, black believe that is the right time to be active and is playing active move f5. But this move is nearly losing move because black's kingside position is really weak after this move and um, this is a really good moment to watch what's everything change if our opponent is playing bad pawn move and at the end of this game you will see this position and you will see knight on h4 and you know ask yourself why white has this knight there and the answer is of course to take on g6 and everything happened because of bad f5 move if black has this move this pawn on f7 everything is okay but no one weak pawn move is losing game and of course botwinning will take on g6 and black king will be a black king will be checkmated and I hope you will see this game from the beginning till end and I believe that you will enjoy this video. So welcome here. Feel free and you should press like because I hope that this game should be good inspiration for you how to play chess and how to watch every pawn moves. And now we are watching ordinary, uh, ordinary opening, nothing special, but maybe now c6. It's a really solid move. Yes, um, black's center it's uh, really okay, it's solid, but uh, the biggest disadvantage of this move is this knight. The, the best square for this knight is usually on c6. If your opponent is playing c6, um, is taking squares out of this knight and black need to find better square for this knight. So that's a small difficulties for black to play this position. And we are watching ordinary moves. Now, believe me that maybe the right move is to take by pawn. And because black should have the square c6 for this knight. Uh, I don't know why black took by the knight. And of course, uh, it's dangerous for black to take by the knight. Because one day, uh, white will play e4 and he will be really strong in the center. It's a good idea to be strong in the center because then you have really lots of um, chances to improve your position. Bishop to d2, uh, short castle. As I told you, knight on b8 has to find another way how to play this chess game because has no reason or has no way how to go to c6. Okay, after move e4, knight to b6. Another knight has difficulties because knight on b6 is really bad knight. You know, it's difficult to believe that this knight is good piece there because has really not many options how to go, how to go and improve himself. Sometimes it's a good idea to attack this knight to play a4, a5, and maybe a6. But of course, white need to go for short castle. And uh, if you have a center control, it's good to support your center. So it's good to put your pieces uh, to center squares and stay behind your center points. This is well-known chess sentence. And even here, uh, you can watch how this plan is working. Knight to d7 and main plan for black is to play e5. e5 and maybe it's a good idea to watch this plan because if your opponent now white uh, has control center it's good to attack this center it's dangerous to leave uh, this center for many moves uh, at your opponent's hands so idea should be to play e5 uh, the right move maybe here is to play bishop to g5 because you are going to stop move e5 for a while and of course bishop on d2 is nearly the worst white piece now we improve it and we stop black's plan so two reasons why to play this move but when he played a4 
And this is another good story about this move. As I told you, knight on b6 is a bad piece. And now we are playing with a4 and we have big threat to play a5. And of course, this threat should win opponent's piece. So for this reason, black maybe need to play move a5. But this pawn move make new weaknesses. Uh, square a7, b6, c7, b8 is a weak square and maybe one day white should attack opponent weaknesses. And what's really interesting, knight on b6 is still the worst black piece. So um, white improved his bad piece, bad bishop, and now he's, he's trying to attack this knight. Of course, uh, this knight is safe. But this knight need to go somewhere because black love to play with his bishop. But if you are playing somewhere immediately, knight on b6 will be under fire. So black's position is really, really hard to play because black has bad pieces. Three minor black pieces are in the bad position. Black is really... Uh, without activity and white has advantage. Uh, he's trying to find move e5 and for this reason he's playing to c7 with his queen. Now it's good time to watch this game. If even white has advantage, it's good time to go for short castle, to not be active um, immediately and uh, it's good to believe that we have to play with all our pieces. So we have to play bishop to e2 and maybe short castle. Now black played uh, to d6 and his idea is to go for um, to b4 with his queen and try to exchange his queen if we have advantage. We are not interesting to exchange opponent's pieces. So of course it's a good idea to stop black's move his queen to b4 and for this reason now short castle is not the best move and the right move is knight to a2 and white stop it black's idea um, to go for a queen exchange it's good idea to watch your opponent's plans ask yourself every time after your opponent move What's idea behind this move? Why my opponent is playing this move? What he wish to play? How I can stop him to play this move? And of course, you can see that Potvinnik did this job and he played knight to a2 and he stopped move uh, a queen to b4. Okay, black played e6 is the right time to go for a short castle. Now, h6 it's a really strange move because everybody knows that it's not really healthy to play uh, pawns uh, where we have our king but even this move watch these three minor pieces i believe that black has big difficulties to play active position with so bad pieces both knights and bishops are really bad squares and they are bad, bad army. Uh, maybe you know the really famous chess sentence uh, which is speaking about if your opponent has one bad piece, everything is bad. And now um, black has three bad pieces. But at the other side, black is really solid. He has no weaknesses and maybe it's difficult for white to find some aggressive and active chess moves. So he went to c1 and he's going to stop maybe move c5. Now you can watch this position. As I told you, black is really solid. Has bad pieces but need to improve these pieces somehow. It's really important to improve his bad pieces and it's really necessary to not play any active moves till black will have good pieces.
f5 is losing move. It's really hard to believe that the black should play so aggressive move with these bad three minor pieces. If our opponent wish to be active, need to have active pieces. Need to have active pieces or need to exchange his bad pieces. To play active uh, chess game with bad pieces is every time a big problem. Okay, now why is the plan? Knight to c3 and another rook is going to the center. Watch black's position. Black's king has really so weak squares around him and even here Black believed that should go for any game and he believed that should exchange a queens. I hope that you believe me that black is wrong. If we wish to attack black's king, we need to play game with our queen. So we are not interested to exchange our queen even we have lost this pawn. This pawn on a4 is really not important pawn in this position. What's important is this piece on h7 and this three or four bad black pieces. In this position is material really no, no important. So no big change. And now we are going to c2 and we are looking exactly where we love to be active. Okay, we are losing pawn, but as I told you, this pawn is not important and has no big value because what's important is black g6 pawn. Okay, knight to a4 and watch this queen. Even black won a piece, oh, sorry, won a pawn has another bad piece and it's a really great story about this game and maybe inspiration for you how difficult it is to play chess with bad pieces. This queen on a3 is a lost piece and is really far, too far from the right squares. Maybe black believed that everything's okay and is coming back home, but it's too late. Now, after a really interesting game of white is winning, he took on g6. Okay, black has to take back and here it's up to us if we are able to watch checkmate the land. So maybe stop this video for a few seconds and ask yourself how white will win this position. And winning move is check on h5. And I hope you see this variation till end. If not, never mind, don't worry, um, it's only game. So what's happened if black will take? So it's check. And watch this piece, you know, here, here, it's hard to go, it's uh, early impossible, so check, and it's checkmate. So for this reason, uh, black should not take this knight, and he went to h7, but it's check and check, and of course here is uh, waiting for black checkmate. So we saw a really beautiful move. Uh, we saw good game and we saw what's in chess is really important. It's important to have good pieces. You know, from the beginning till end, black has bad pieces and even black has more material, his pawn up. It's not important. We have to play with all our pieces. We have to play active chess and we have to believe that this is exactly example how not to play chess. How, why is important to improve our pieces? Why is important to play with our pieces? And why is dangerous to play with pawns uh, from our side? So I hope you enjoyed. I believe that it was inspiration chess game, and you know I hope you like it. So thank you very much for your li likes. Follows and I hope I'll see you next time in our another YouTube chess video. So guys, thank you very much one more time. That's everything for now, and I hope I'll see you next time.